Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tristan and today in this video what I got going on for you guys is something short and simple We're going to be getting into a new new pair of foam runners recently released from of course the May 31st Yeezy restocks I actually bought this pair off somebody got a fairly good deal on it And I'm gonna get into it and we'll kind of discuss what I'm thinking about this pair since if you can tell by the title I do think these have a lot of potential to go up in value if you're interested in you know getting the sneaker for that uh, It is also a good personal since if you look at how most foam runners are priced It's a lot higher in price for most colorways but this one again since it is just dropped is going to be a little bit lower more people are going to be selling it off but that won't be the case down the line when there's less pairs and prices in turn will also be higher because there'll be people that will be looking for them it's an mx colorway so now you probably know what i'm talking about but let's get into it if you want more videos like this feel free to check me out down below you guys can't subscribe and like let's try to 200 likes on this video don't forget if you also want to start cooking more sneakers for retail you probably see my videos recently been getting a lot of pairs check us out down below at hype labs we can help you cook more as a reseller if you join our wait list you'll get a response within 24 hours you can get access to for example amazon freebie success so free stuff from amazon you can sell locally uh also you guys can see uh see on the screen right now our free app uh which allows you to personalize personalize the pings you would get from us in hype lab see all the channels that we offer and it would just be like app notifications it's super cool we also have a feature where you can product search certain products and see like the best sizes to sell you can look up any sku any name and it'll show you the best sizes to sell the most popular uh sizes that commonly you know sell for that shoes so really cool feature and we also are now available in europe asia and canada so if you're interested i hope to see you all down below and here's on the screen you can just see some of the stuff that we offer right there but there's tons of success uh you can just go on our instagram twitter and see that and let's get started so as you guys can see right here the box did come in a bit damaged um but you know that's just how it is sometimes with shipping lighter sneakers and get damaged really easily especially if it comes in like a bigger box and the person i bought these off did ship these in a larger box and you can see i got a size uh, 12 hopefully it'll focus for me maybe you can see that but this is a size 12 and this is the mx cinder foam runner colorway you guys can see the box uh, and all that for it right here so pretty decent uh, but now let's kind of discuss what i'm thinking about these and you know my phone was just uh going off right there but Here's what these ones look like in hand. And personally, I wasn't feeling these from photos originally, but actually in hand, these aren't half bad. I kind of rock uh, with how this light blue stands out with uh, you know that brown and black colorway uh, and how that all mixes together in the sneaker. Since it's multiple colors in one, you can tell there's no uh, you know one color that's necessarily set for this sneaker. It is a mix of a ton of them. Uh, uh, hence why we have the whole MX. I'm pretty sure that stands for mix or something along those lines. Um, I mean, it would make sense to me. I mean, look, we got this blend going on here. This is probably my favorite part of the sneaker would be the toe box. You can see how that is looking. But I just kind of want to explain uh, MX colorway. Since, again, if you look at the pricing for these right now, it's around $130 to $140. I paid $130 for this size 12. Got them within a day. So shout out to the person I bought them off that, you know, got me with that quick ship. And, of course, bigger sizes for these are always going to do well, um, you know, because bigger sizes typically sell for more, and uh, you know, with a lot of sneakers. But also, with these being lower in value right now, there is another MX colorway out there, the MX Carbons. Those. I personally don't think look as good as this colorway. I actually like this one a little bit more, uh, but that is just, you know, my personal opinion. And the MX Carbons go for 200 plus in all sizes. These right now are under 150 in all sizes. Under 140, I think, on StockX for all sizes. So, is it definitely a good pair to buy up? Any of the recent foam runners, Yeezy slides, the main reason those are lower in price right now is because they have just dropped. I've been emphasizing that and stressing that in my last few videos. And this pair is definitely clean. I think it's kind of, you know, a simple, uh, easy foam runner to wear. You know, the design's actually pretty nice in hand. I know not everybody is feeling it, but these are these are actually, you know, not that bad. I would actually, you know, I have a size nine of these on the way and I might be towing them because these are clean and it's just kind of like a simple go-to foam runner. You know, you can wear foam runners, you know. Uh, it's just kind of like, you know, a simple like house shoe or, you know, out and about, even like the beach. I don't really know, you know. It's kind of, it's kind of like a slide, but not really. Um, you know, it's a little bit different. That's why that's why I like foams. They're definitely unique. I'll give them that stamp 100%. There, there's nothing like them. Uh, and yeah, these are definitely undervalued at the moment. It's the main thing I just want to stress to you guys, considering that most foam runners are an over $200 sneaker and the only ones that aren't over 200 right now, the ones that just restocked or just dropped. Like I think the, um, we also had, yeah, we had the cl uh, clay red colorway. So those are a little bit lower right now, again, because they just released the clay reds though. I don't think those ones are as good to hold because there's some color, uh, a lot of colorways that look very similar to those, but these, I think this is a really good play because, um, MX colorways don't go for low amounts. Like go look at the MX cream 
same clay foam runner. Go look at the MX Carbon foam runner. They all go for a lot more, and this just released. It's another version of those. So I'm holding on to MX Cinders. That's how I feel about them. And uh, I actually want to, I just want to box these up properly right here. And I want to dive into the pricing for these, where I could see them going. And I want to show you the example I've been comparing these ones to. Again, very clean design on these. I think they have potential. Let's get into the next part though. And so there we go. Just started the screen recording right there. Here's what I mean by like, you know, success or under market deals we offer to members on a weekly basis. Got more coming tonight. Our Artifil tool we just launched. Uh, again, you can see everything offered right there. We're adding like some more sports betting stuff and all that this week. Also just added a Chipotle code bot. So members are, you know, getting free Chipotle all the time. But as you guys can see, the MX Cinder uh, photos on StockX do not do these justice at all. Like does this picture, right? Does that picture look like this sneaker right here? No, it does not. Like these look a lot better on video. Like with this, like you see what I'm saying? Like these look way better than the photos that they're showing for this pair. Like these do not look like that in hand. It's not, it's a little bit more saturated actually uh, when you get a view of a pair uh, in hand. So if you have a pair on the way, I wouldn't sell it if you're able to hold. Uh, but if again, maybe it's like the first pair you're getting a resell or you know, one of the first pairs, uh, you know, yeah, like one of the first pairs you're getting to flip, then don't hold on to it. There's no reason to hold like some of the first sneakers you're getting to resell. Just get the flip, move on to the next one. And if you have capital to hold these ones or you want them for the personal collection, just keep them. Uh, you're not going to get better pricing than what they're at right now. And if you want to buy pairs to hold, you won't get better pricing than, you know, what they are right now. If you, you know, buying off people, maybe you're in hype laps, you can go to the marketplace, look for those. That's what I've been doing, honestly, with a lot of people, just anybody that's like talking in Maine is like, man, I can't sell these foams. I'm like, you can say, yay, hey, you can sell them to me. There's no problem. You know what I mean? So that's just how I've been feeling about anything easy right now. I got tons of those Zor slides on the way. I have a lot of faith in those. Um, just, I mean, look at how, how Yeezy slides sell over time on StockX. They are some of the most sold models of, I think they're top, within the top three most sold models of all time on StockX. I know number one is Panda Dunks. And then I think number two um, is got, it's like the Yeezy slide Onyx. So like anything, Onyx slides are an amazing hold as, as well. You know, that's one of the most sold models, again, of all time on StockX. So if you just give those time, it is a classic go-to for people. It is going to go up in price. I know a lot of people are like, hey, the sneaker market isn't strong right now. You know, there is certain, it's only gonna be certain colorways and certain things that are going up. And I agree. And the certain colorways and certain things are gonna be things that are limited and no longer being made or ones that are not going to restock, ones that are still in demand, but aren't here anymore, you know, aren't consistently dropping. And I got a couple examples for you. Azure Slides, MX Cinder Foam Runners, Clay Red Foam Runners, uh, you know, the the um, Pirate Black 350s, that's a good long-term one. Turtle Doves as well. Like anything like that, you know, those are good ones just to just hold on to because you're going to have time. And that's the that's kind of one of the main things I'm stressing here is if you have capital to hold on to, you know, these sneakers, just use the time, you know, you have time on your side. And while it will take a little bit longer before we start seeing these go up, I actually could probably see these start making some really good progress around Christmas. I mean, look at the sales on these going crazy. And if you look at the MX Carbons, look at the pricing on these ones. Just... Look at the comparison. You see what I mean? Like, look, much lower in price right now. Like, not many sizes selling. I mean, the smaller ones. So kind of that range of 130, 150. And then this one right here. I mean, look, just be patient. Give it time. You will make some good money holding on to these. I can almost guarantee it. And even the bigger sizes do. Like, th those actually don't do as well. But, you know, 12 is fine. But look, it seems like seven through nine, those are the good sizes to hold on to for farm runners. So personally, that's what I'd be looking for is kind of the smaller sizes right now. They seem to be going for a bit more, a little bit more in demand. But if you want to get these big sizes, they'll still go up too. So that's how I'm feeling about these. So don't sleep on, again, the MX Cinders. I definitely think uh, this is a good colorway and we shouldn't ignore these. Because I know they just dropped. A lot of people aren't really going to be focused on them, but it's definitely a good play. Well, since they just dropped, people are, gonna, are just going to be focused on, you know, mainly selling. But if you like holding, these are good ones. But if you want more content like this, again, you can see everything we offer on the screen and I hope to see you all on our waitlist down below. You can see all the reviews we got right there. And again, you can join any of our different plans. Uh, again, low key flips, Amazon freebies. Those are just like some of the other things that we do. There's plenty that we offer within the group, like the free Chipotle codes and other stuff like that. But there's tons and uh, tons of other things. Also that in-house app I was showing you at the start of the video that you can use. It's all included within your membership and it can really help you up your game as a reseller. Like knowing what sizes to target, having stock numbers for Nike, having botters run for you, or you know, learning how to bot using our autofill tools like there's so many things you can take advantage of uh, entering for the daily deals like that's just w another thing that we offer and uh you know the exclusive brick link calls you know you can profit consistently as a reseller there's so many things so i hope to see you all there 
and don't miss out. Join that waitlist. And I promise you, you just shoot me a DM in there once you're in the group and I'll be sure to help you out. I can show you some of the channels that are good for making you a profit. So that's it. I'm going to end this screen recording. I'm Tristan. Thank you guys. And hopefully I will catch you all in the next video soon. And again, hold foam runners and slides. They're some of the best selling models in StockX or anywhere really. I mean, they just are easy sellers always. So you should get them. But that's it. Catch you all in the next one. Peace. Sticks made a fucking hit.